Hi, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I have my hair mail came in and I was so excited. I've been waiting and it just came this morning. Um, so this is from the wig company and this will be the new vibrant in the shade that I'm excited to wear. So there's that comes out of the box, the new vibrant color color 502 it's a basics brand basics brand and here we go oh she's pretty she's a very pretty color I'm loving the color loving the color and of course she's packaged very well wig company really does package their wigs nicely this is my uh, third one and look at those long strawberry blonde, strawberry blonde tendrils. Wow. Beautiful. Very soft. And um, uh, she's a, a basic cap. No, no monofilament. No lace. Um, extended nape. She does have an extended nape. Uh, this color is, um, like I said, 502. Or I believe it is called... Now I can't find it. 502 is a light golden red highlighted with light golden blonde. And I would classify as a, as a strawberry red, basically. Um, and here's the call, here's the uh, wig company's catalog. And here I'll show you the color that it's supposed to represent. I know, I know this, this, uh, I, the, the, the camera that I use, the Android, I know it doesn't do justice. Um, it's, it's really hard to see. But right here is the shade of this wig. And I know in some pictures it looked like it could be the, it could be off, but it's, it's not. It really is dead on to what you see. Um, I'm very happy with that. Um, uh, the best way I find to view these catalog uh, color shades is in the brightest light. And that is where you'll get the truest color. Um, with the other two that I have, if I went outside in daylight and really looked, held this color up to my wigs, it, it, it's really dead one. So um, again, it would be the same thing. Maybe inside the light and with these, with my daylight bulbs, it's not, it's not coming across as that. But yes, she's, she's beautiful. I, I, I waited a while. I exchanged her from the other color and I know the other color was, was nice. And, and a lot of you commented, I ask you for your comments and thank you. Um, and I did like it, but I really wanted to try this color. And like I said before that, um, if I had known if I had to buy another wig in that color on clearance, I would have done it. Now I'm going to try something new. I'm going to add a card. So if you want to see that video on, on should I keep her or should I send her back? I'm going to put a little card up here. Now this is new. I never tried this before on my channel. So if it doesn't appear, forgive me. I'm working on this. I'm not very tech savvy when it comes to this stuff. Um, but anyway, let me, uh, today I'm wearing my hair cue. I put her up for something different and I'm wearing a, a scarf because I figured that would cover the, um, the nape a little bit. My hair is longer and I do have to get her cut and, uh, but I'll show you 360 of what I've done. And, uh, I did, I did have to, well, you'll see when I take off, when I take this off, um, I do have to wear a wig, I wear a wig grip and I had to wear a wig hat because my hair is getting longer in the back and the front is longer. And I'm to the point now where I've, I've cut my family's hair for the last 20 years. I've cut my own hair even longer than that. And um, it's to the point now where I, this, this haircut that I am sporting now, I went about three or four months ago, right after I started wearing wigs. And I had, uh, I sat down in the chair and I had them shave the back and leave the front a little bit long. And 25 hours later, um, you know, I'm thinking, wow, and nobody's even gonna see it, other than my, my, my immediate family in the house, but it does, it's not gonna see the light of day anymore. And so now I'm thinking, okay, I can do this. I'm just gonna have to cut my own hair. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, a video on um, very soon, very shortly, um, because I can't stand how long the front is. It's just getting, it's going back and it's sticking out of my ears. So I have to, 
do something with it. And I don't like wearing a wig grip and a wig cap together, especially, you know, I just don't like doing it. So, okay. So let me take this off, but this is my hair cube and that's how I did it. I stuck her up in a little, little in a little claw clip. So, and, and I have taken some uh, of the length off of her. Uh, she is uh, from hair cube and she was an Amazon purchase, uh, $23. I love the color and she was pretty long. And it was all different lengths, layers. And uh, eventually the ends, just it just started getting fried. And no matter, I, I did use the Amazon stuff one and that, uh, the uh, silicone, that really brought it back. But I already had cut her before I didn't have that stuff yet. So she has been cut. And I really like how she's turned out with the layers. I, I really, I really, I just relayered what was already there, but just took like an inch or two off. Okay, so there's that. Ta-da. Like I said, I do already have the wig cap on because my hair is just coming out all over the place. And uh, okay, so let me put her on. So I'm gonna give her a shake because I am definitely keeping her. Um, I am definitely, with this color, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And the, the color does remind me a lot of my Lydell and my Paula Young Phoebe. Very close, in fact. Let me get the Phoebe. Go to my wig closet there. Well, mm, I would say it's a little bit darker than the Phoebe. A, just a tad. And you know what I think it is? It's because it has more, more of a darker highlight in there. Um, so here's the Phoebe which I still have to do a review on her. I haven't worn her yet out yet. I haven't done anything. Um, I, I'm waiting for the sun to come out. I want to do an outdoor, outdoor, an outdoor review on her, actually. I mean, I've done an indoor review, but I, I want to do a more extensive review outdoors in the sun. And then, um, but yeah, she, she has a little bit darker tendrils in there, the highlights. Okay, so let me just put her on. Okay, and like I, I know what they say. Let me take these glasses off for a minute. I know what they say that the um, it's not, it's not, uh, it's packaged so it goes back. So let me just do this. Get her all revved up. Get that card out of the way. Okay, she is very pretty. Now, I'm a bang kind of gal, you know that, right? So I'm going to have to work with that to get her to come down and pretty much play with her. But out of the box, I think she is really, really pretty. Um, I don't want the curls to be so curl. I want more of a wave. So I, um, I'll have to play with her to get the wave. But the top really, really uh, came up nice. I don't know if this is coming up the top. It really, uh, whew, I like that. I mean, even though it's not a lace front, I like how that looks. There it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's very pretty. And the cap is very comfortable and comes down pretty far. My ear, my, has plenty of room for my glasses. Plenty of room. I'm pushing in the uh, metal stays. And the back is down. Well, let me do a 360 on this one. <clears throat> Left side. Right side. Like I said, I'm going to uh, give her some more finesse going on here with my fingers. I might even spritz her down with some water. see but yeah um once i get the sides relaxed i guess i should show you that it says the new vibrant before i cut that off that's always in my way <laughs> but okay well what you all think i think this color is a I think this is a good one. Like I said, I have to work on the sides and maybe I'll even brush her um, to get her to get her the curls to relax a little bit. 
Um, I, I really, I mean, I don't want the top to be straight like this and then the sides to be curly. So at least that's what it's coming across in my phone when I'm looking at it. So I'm going to have to finger comb her down a little bit and I'm sure gra gravity is going to work and itself and just, here, let me cut this off. This is in the way. I'll cut that off. Yeah, that's better. But anyway, see so there's, so I guess she is tuckable and I can always bring down my own bio hair or parts of that actually, that's part, that's part of the wig. Oh, that looks cute too, look at that. Look at that, that really, li I like that. And then I guess, I don't know about wearing her up. I don't know how. Hmm, just a little bit. Let me get another little clip. So this is just with some of the sides up. So she, I think you can even do this with her too. So she's very versatile. Bring the sides down. I mean, right out of the box, I, I think it's very nice. I mean, with a little bit of work, with a little bit of work, she's manageable to go right outside. There she is. Right side. Left side. Now I have no idea what the back looks like, so. Let me see. What does it look like? Oh, that's pretty. I'm loving the color. I am loving these reds. I'll tell you. Um, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just drawn to them. I can't explain it. I'm just drawn to them. I don't know if it's because of the freckles I have or the green eyes or my complexion or it's just, I mean, I love blondes also I, I i can't say that i have a couple of blondes i can't say i don't like the blondes but for right now i'm just in like I, I i always refer to it as my red zone and that's where that's where i'm at uh last night i went to a little family get together and i wore a totally different wig than i had wore a month ago to the christmas party and i had wore the catwalk fashion fever and uh my sister-in-law, she goes, that's different, right? And I said, yes, that's different. And we talked about that for, for a little bit. And I also have a story to tell you at work, uh, a gentleman came in and he, um, he knows I wear wigs because his wife was with him and she had commented on my hair one day about how beautiful it was and, um, told him. And when he came back in, he told me, my wife thinks your hair is beautiful. And I said, oh, he goes, you know, she was wearing a wig. And I said, oh, I, I, I should have known. I don't know if I knew or not. I, it, it didn't look like a wig, so I, I wasn't sure. And I never met the woman before, so I had nothing to, you know, and I didn't want to stare at her, and I was busy with my work. Um, but, yeah, and I told him. I said, well, it's a wig. And he said, no, you're joking, because she was wearing a wig, and we got to talking. When well, he came in yes, uh, yesterday, and yesterday I was wearing a uh, catwalk, and by the wig company, and he was talking and talking and talking and, and he says, now, why do you wear wigs? And I said, well, because my buyer hair is sick. He says, but your hair is beautiful. And I looked at him and I thought he was joking. I really thought he was joking. And he says, you know, your, your hair is beautiful. Why are you wearing a wig? And I said, this is a wig. And he's like, no, it's not. Cause I can see, I can see your, your scalp. It's not a wig. And I literally right there. Nobody was watching. I just went like that. I said, say it's a wig. And he's like, well, what, what kind is that? Cause she doesn't have that. And so I, I wrote down, um, to check out my YouTube channel. I wrote down wig studio one, um, the support group on Facebook. And I wrote down Paula Young. I wrote down the wig company and I wrote down, um, main attraction, Hollywood main attraction uh, line. I said, these are the three that I pretty much you know, go around and they're all budget friendly. Well, the, the, they, they can be, I mean, some of them are hiring. Um, and I said, check it out. I said, there's no reason why she should be wearing a wig that she's not comfortable in. And, and you're telling me that you can tell it's a wig. So he, he agreed. He thanked me. And he says, I said, look, I said, next time you come in, 
bring her with you. I have no problem talking to her, showing her what I have on, and there's no reason why she should be unhappy with it. And it's, it, it, she's, she's wearing away because her hair is unhealthy too, and she's a little bit older than I am. So, and he left, and I really felt, I felt good. I felt like, wow, uh, you know, I, I hope I helped him. I hope, I hope I can help her. And, um, and us wig sisters, that's, that's what we do. That's, that's what we do for each other. Um, I especially like all the comments when I, I had a video up not too long ago on, again, I will try and post it up in the card now. This is, like I said, if I can do this, <laughs> um, but it, about when is a good time to start wearing a wig. And in that, I had told you my journey about what, what led me to here. And I don't want to go all over that again. You can you can listen to the watch the video um, if you're interested. But you know, I loved reading all your comments and all your stories, and uh, telling me how you got to where you're at and what you had to go through to get through it. I'll tell you, there's a lot of strong ladies out there. I mean, you know, we really go through a lot in in from from growing to a certain point to child rearing or maybe just you know going through uh, uh, menopause. And, and, and here we are now and, and we are strong creatures. We really are. And I think the more we stick together in this journey that we're all doing together, you know, lean on each other when we have our, our bad moments, you know, when the wig's not doing exactly what you want or you have to go and get your hair cut and you don't want to go out in public. So you're going to start cutting it in your, your, in your own or shaving it your own. I, I mean, I had the back shaved, so I'm going to have to, I want to shave my back shorter and then cut the front. You know, and then just have it like a pixie because right now it's all over. It grow, it just grew in and I just didn't know what to do with it. And I, I do, I do, uh, color it every, um, like maybe six weeks. I color just the, the ends. I don't even bother with the root. I mean, I do the roots, but I don't really have to just to keep the, so when I bring my bio hair out, um, it matches it's, it's in, it's in the strawberry blonde color. So I do do that. And it's a non-peroxide. It's a, it's, uh, I wish I knew who put it out. It's like 257 at Walmart. It's on the bottom tier. It's, I always go for the same one, and I, that's what I use. I buy, I buy two or three at a time just to have them stocked up. And um, it let, like it washes out. It's nothing permanent. It's no, no peroxide. It's gentle in your hair. It doesn't even really smell in the room. It just puts some color on the hair that I do have. Um, well, anyway, to get back to the new vibrant, I'm very happy with this. I it was it's been a long wait, but I'm very happy for receiving it today on this gloomy Saturday morning. Uh, this is great. When as soon as I heard somebody on the porch, uh, I was like, "Oh, it's here! It's here!" <laughs> and I ran out. I don't even think they were back in the truck yet, and I snatched it into the house, and I couldn't wait to come up here and 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 to do a review on it. So. Okay, well, with that, I think I'm going to uh, go to my big mirror in my bedroom and take a look at her and uh, play with her some more. But, yeah, so this is back, and I'll take her down. This is just to, to show you down. Maybe I'll just do this and see what how much I have, how much volume she does have. She has a lot of volume here. She can really be spruced up. Hey, I can go back to the 80s style anytime I want with her. <laughs> but see i like i said i i i mean i don't wear it back like that i i do like the hair down and some kind of bangs um to cover you know i know it's four fingers but i just um i i'm just i'm just a bang or fringe kind of gal i've always have had bangs um i think when i was 12 i had their hair down on my butt and i used to pull it straight back in a in one of those um clips and you put the stick through and um my mom always said why do you wear it that way? Why don't you give yourself some bangs? Oh no, I don't want bangs. I don't want. Or I would go right down the middle. You, you, anybody out there in their fifties and and early sixties, you're gonna know exactly. Right down the middle, and you drape it like this, and then you put it either in two barrettes here or one barrette in the back. That was my classic look. And then when I was in um, sixth grade, Dorothy Hamill, Dorothy Hamill did her. Uh, Olympics skating and I was watching her and I said I love that haircut and the next day or two I went to the hairdresser and had that done and I went into school and nobody knew who I was they were like 
what did you do? And I don't, it felt so weird having all that weight taken off because it was down, it was down on my back and, and, um, I couldn't believe what I had done. I, I, I regretted it after I did it. I regretted it because my neck was so cold and people didn't like it. And they were saying, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, too short going drastically from down my butt to up to here. So in hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but that's what I do. That's what I did. Dorothy Hamill haircut. So, okay. Well, thank you for checking in. Um, please hit the like and the subscribe and, and tap that bell. Um, I try and post uh, at least twice a week now and maybe even three times. Um, like I said, when I find some things to post, that's what I, that's what I put it up there. I'm very excited to do these. I love doing these reviews, um, especially with wigs. Like, I mean, this is a beautiful wig. I love, I love this, this curls and stuff. This is really nice. I love this. This is beautiful. And uh, now her picture, let me pull up a picture. The picture's in here somewhere. I remember I remember seeing it in the um in the catalog. And uh oh, I don't know where she's at now. I've I've gone over this catalog so many times you think I would have known what page it's on. You know? Oh there she is. Now see in the picture she does have a straighter top. And then curls at the bottom. So this this is this is right on with what what I'm looking at in the book. So I'm go I'll, I'll probably just uh, play with her some more, and come up with a come up with another style. And I will do another review with her in daylight on my deck. I know there's they're still calling for beautiful weather uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week coming, and that's what I plan on doing. I plan on doing um, I plan on doing the new vibrant. And I'm going to plan on doing one on the Phoebe, Paul Young Phoebe. So, all right. Thank you for stopping in. Have a great day. Until next time, God bless and bye.